how do you market yourself when you are an introvert, when you are a shy type, when you're a quiet type and you don't want to be kind of pushing your stuff out and saying, look at me, look at me, or, or whatever it is um, that you think you might need to do. This is a question I received from Suzanne, one of my quiet marketing insiders. So let me um, give you a couple of thoughts on this. First of all, um, I am actually an introvert myself. Um, it may not seem that way um, because I can be kind of animated and things like that. But, you know, I'm hopeless at um, like networking, you know, in terms of, um, you know, turning up to an event and trying to make small talk and things like that. Like I'm really bad at that. Um, and I get overwhelmed, you know, pretty easily, um, which is why I needed to pull back from Facebook groups because they were creating, you know, just a bit of anxiety for me. So a couple of things that I've noticed um, for introverts or maybe highly sensitive people is that we tend to have a natural ability to write. And I say harness that, you know, you know, we, we can get the impression that you can't possibly build a business if you're not doing video. But I want to say, like I'm doing some videos now, but I have built my business without doing much video at all. Um, so you know, video is important and I won't deny that, but you, it, you can also build your business without it. I just want to, you know, say that. Um, so, right, that's how I started expressing myself. It felt easier to me. It flowed more for me. Um, and a, a key thing I would say about that too is like, don't worry about like, don't get into that sort of, oh, would people really want to hear about this or that kind of thinking. Write for yourself first. All right, write what you're noticing, write what you're thinking, just, um, just share like for yourself. Um, because when you do it that way, you're coming from this place of non, no agenda. And, and that's a really great place to be. So you can, you can write, you know, native posts on your Facebook page. You can sort of consider those as a draft for maybe a blog post. Um, I've, I've actually um, really was I was I have been getting a lot of clients from blog posts. I was writing a lot of blog posts about a year or so ago, um, and I'm kind of getting back into that now. But really effective, you know, because you can communicate who you are and what your perspective is and what you stand for through writing, and people can feel that, you know. So um, I guess that's point number one. Um, go for it with your writing. Um, Point number two is you can actually then take those writings and turn them into audios. Like I love doing audio. It's really easy. I don't need to make sure that my hair's done um, or I've got the right shirt on or the background looks okay. Like I can just like really whip out my phone and talk into that, right? And, um, and then it's easy to sort of do something with it from there. So that would be the next thing. Um, do audio. The other thing I love about audio is it's very digestible for our audiences. So they can listen in the car or when they're doing the ironing or whatever it is. It's, it's like a really nice um, method or means of um, sharing a message or content. So that'll be number two. Um, the other thing is that, you know, I was touching on, you know, in-person networking kind of things. If you resonated with that like you kind of you know you think oh I need to go and network but you kind of don't want to or you get a bit like nervous about doing that the best thing that I can say is be the organizer that was that has been such a key for me like I really got tired of turning up to events where the hosts they just didn't know how to look after people, you know, like no one was sort of kind of going, hey, Danielle, thanks for coming. Let me introduce you to some people. I would have loved that, you know. No, they didn't do that. They were just like, yeah, what's your name? You know, I don't know. And I just thought that's just wrong, <laughs> you know. The good thing is, is when you're the organiser, you don't have to make small talk, really, right? You've got a job to do, plus people are coming to you to talk, because you're the organizer. So you don't have to sort of look around the room and everyone's already talking and kind of saying, Oh God, which group am I going to approach so that, you know, I can break into a conversation. No. So really, really great tip. Be the organizer. Um, and I think I had one more. 
Oh yeah. I guess the, the, the other thing is, is that you, if you're introverted, if you're highly sensitive, you probably will get overwhelmed pretty easily. Um, and, and that's okay. Like what you might want to do if you, especially like in Facebook groups, um, cut back. Like the, the best thing I ever did was I went from trying to sort of be in a couple of different Facebook groups to just going, I'm just going to focus on this one. And that felt way better, you know, and it was more, my efforts were more potent. I made more of an impact. So that's something else you might want to consider as well. And, you know, you might have to deal with some of those belief systems that say, oh, no, if I cut back on Facebook groups, you know, no one's going to find me. Well, that's not true um, because your effort can be, if it's, as I say, will be more potent, will be more noticeable, will be more effective. So I hope that helps um, give you a couple of ideas about how to market if you're, uh, if you feel like you're an introvert um, or shy or a quiet type or something like that. So this is Danielle Gardner. Thank you so much for listening and watching and I'll see you next time.